Hello. In this example, we will use Quick Palette Maker to see exactly how many boxes can we ship within a container on the floor of each type. So the first step is to run Quick Palette Maker. Next, we will make sure that we are using centimeters as our units. So we go to the Tools menu, Settings, and we change the units to centimeters. Click on OK. And now we will open a new data sheet container. All right, there, select case properties. And we start entering the dimensions for our boxes. The first one will measure 61 centimeters by 51 by 47. and weigh 30 kilograms. We will start with a total amount of 380 boxes, but give priority to the second type of box, which we will enter now. 51 by 47 by 30, weight of 15, and 190. In this case, we need to make sure that we're sending 190. Type one is not that priority. It's not that important. So we have brown boxes and yellow boxes, and we will ship on a dry cargo 40 container. Click on the second tab. And we have a total of 464. So what we can do is change the container type also to high cube 40, calculate again, and now we have a similar amount to what we want to ship. We have 380 of the first type and 152 of the second type, but what we wanted was 152, 190 of the second type and as many as possible of the first type. So we will edit this number, let's say 320, and calculate again. Now we have 510, 190, 320. We can still see if we fit more of the first type. Let's try 340. Yep, we can try 360, four. so let's try 350 finally. And yes, this was a quick way to iterate back and forth to see if we could ship 190 of the second type and as many as possible of the first type.